Hey everybody, and welcome to Space Week for Sunday, September 29th, 2019. Just a quick update to keep you informed about what's going on above our heads. Last week was a busy one. There were five out of five successful rocket launches, two rendezvous at the International Space Station, confirmation of an interstellar visitor, and a big presentation by Elon Musk. Last week, China launched a Long March 3B rocket with another payload for their Beidou navigation constellation. Two days later, they launched a Long March 2D with the Yunhai-102 meteorological satellite. Japan successfully launched the HTV-8 cargo craft containing experiments, supplies, and three more lithium batteries to the ISS, after it had been scrubbed a couple of weeks earlier due to a liquid oxygen launch pad fire. HTV-8 arrived on Saturday. The lithium batteries will be installed during spacewalks this fall. Keep an eye out for those live streams. A Soyuz rocket carried three more crew up to the ISS. Russian cosmonaut Oleg Skripochka, NASA astronaut Jessica Mir, and Haza Ali Al-Mansouri from the United Arab Emirates, that country's first astronaut. Al-Mansouri will be staying for just 10 days, while the other two will remain on station for about six months. The final launch was another Soyuz with the Russian military satellite EKS-3. A few days ago, the International Astronomical Union announced that a new comet spotted at the end of August is, in fact, not from around here. The extrasolar visitor, originally known as Comet C 2019, was redesignated as 2I Borisov, marking it as the second interstellar object we've identified. It's named for the person who discovered it, Crimean amateur astronomer Gennady Borisov. The first confirmed interstellar object was, of course, asteroid 1I Oumuamua, which took a swing through our solar system back in October 2017. Like Oumuamua, Comet Borisov is just passing through. On December 7th, it will pass our sun at a distance of 186 million miles, 300 million kilometers, or about two times farther than Earth is from the sun. The comet will remain visible to astronomers well into 2020. Capping off last week's events, Elon Musk gave a much-anticipated update on the progress and plans for SpaceX Starship. As he spoke, Musk stood next to the 165-foot or 50-meter gleaming stainless steel Starship Mark I. While he didn't provide much new information that we didn't already know, or drop any more radical design changes on us, it was still an effective pep rally, and it was very exciting to see a fully assembled Starship orbital prototype. We learned that Mark 1 weighs 200 tons without fuel, and will weigh 1400 tons when fueled, though they plan to decrease the dry weight down to 120 tons by Mark 4 or Mark 5. The overall weight with max payload of Starship is expected to be 5,000 tons. Elon's time frame for sending humans to orbit on Starship is aggressive, just six months. That may be overly optimistic, but that's standard Elon. This is like, um, my new thing is a management by rhyming. Uh, if the schedule's uh, long, it's wrong, and if it's tight, it's right. The event closed with a question and answer session, which allowed Elon to connect with his online best friend forever, Tim Dodd, the everyday astronaut. You can watch a video of the whole SpaceX event here on Raw Space. For a shorter eight minute version, check out I Need More Spaces edit, links down below. Looking ahead to later this week, the only launch on the schedule is a Chinese Long March 4C with an unspecified payload. China doesn't provide live coverage of their launches. The main item of interest is a change of command on the ISS. Alexei Ovchinin hands over command to Luca Parmitano, and the return of three crew to Earth on a Soyuz. Expedition 60 members Alexei Ovchinin and Nick Haig, as well as Emirati astronaut Haza Ali Al-Mansouri. The change of command ceremony is on Wednesday, October 2nd at 9.20 a.m. Eastern Time, 1.20 p.m. GMT. Crew farewells, hatch closing, undocking, deorbit, and landing are spread out over multiple broadcasts starting at 11.45 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday, 3.45 a.m. GMT on Thursday, to 7.30 a.m. Eastern, 11.30 a.m. GMT. It will all be streamed right here on Raw Space, so stay tuned. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. As always, feel free to like, subscribe, and activate notifications if you don't want to miss anything. Discord, merch store, and Patreon links are all in the video description. See you next time.